Okay, well today we have uh, a cool experiment. These are apple slices. This one kind of got stuck on the bottom there. There it is. Uh, that I have been soaking in different kinds of water. Now this particular jar is ionized water and that's from the Athena at level 3 and it was about a negative 650 ORP I think when I poured it. I'll have to check my records but that's a uh, what I predict will preserve the apple the best because it's got so many antioxidants in it. Now this middle jar is just apple slice preserved in tap water which does not look too bad. I'm looking at it right now and thinking um, tap water is not a bad I, you know, a preserver of apple slices but uh, it doesn't look as uh, I, oxidized as I would have thought after two days. This one looks less oxidized but but that one looks you know not not too much worse now this apple slice here has been preserved or sitting in acidic water and this is simulating what the water in if you the cells in your body will start to look like if you're uh, drinking soda coffee a lot and not getting enough alkali alkalinity and also antioxidants into your um, bloodstream <laughs> and I that really looks bad and I don't think I'm going to taste test that one but I may just to be gutsy so what I'm going to do is I'm going to test each one of these and then I'm going to also taste test at the end and see do they do they taste like they've been preserved or or what I did kind of a, a smaller simulation of this the other day, uh, two days ago when I start before I started this experiment, and um, it the the uh, piece of apple that was being stored in the ionized water did taste really good. It had almost um, like an apple pieish taste to it. It was it was slightly altered from just your fresh crisp apple. It was still crisp but not as crisp as as um, you know a, a fresh cut apple would be. Alright well I'm just uh, kind of getting my probes ready here and I'm going to start by testing the um, the water itself on each of these jars and see how the water has changed from the original because I, I did test each of these waters before I started. Alright, now that's the ionized. Let's see if that's changed at all. And um, ionized will, I predict, will, will have changed considerably because um, but we'll see. I mean the, the last time when I was soaking apples the the ionized water got tremendously more acidic than it started out. It started out at about a 10, 10.5 pH or something like that. And the acid, it really got considerably more acidic. And it looks like this as well is acidic. But the interesting thing is uh, that, yep, it did get acidic sitting there with the apple in it. Um, and I guess the apple's got a certain amount of acidity. It's 6.0, which is quite acidic, and uh, a negative 512 ORP, which is a, treme a tremendously great ORP. That's almost as high antioxidants as two days ago when I poured, or when I put the apple in that water. It was like maybe a negative 650 or a negative 700 ORP at that time. And now it's, you know, negative 518 ORP. That's, that's just amazing. But with a 5.9 acidity, wow. <laughs> so that's very interesting. And um, then the second one is just an apple in tap water. Let's see what happened to the tap water. Now, the tap water started out with a very high ORP, it was um, like a positive 300 or something like that. And then it was 
also, uh, you know, like a 9 or something pH, which is my St. Louis tap water. So let's just check that out. Give it a second to just adjust. While I'm waiting for that, I'm just going to get my next thing ready. Well, this is <laughs> kind of interesting. Um, the it. It, the ORP seems to be neutralized by the apple sitting in the water and so I'm concluding that the apple does just lightly neutralize the antioxidant or the oxidation quality of water which is actually a very interesting thing and that's what uh, that's what um, portable water ionizers do they they pretty much neutralize the oxidation quality of the water. They bring it to about a, a zero or maybe a negative 30 or something. This is a positive something. So it is a positive number and it's still climbing so I should really wait a little bit. But it brought it down to a 5.4 which is quite acidic. So that's, that's also interesting. I'm not sure I mean, none of these waters would be anything I would drink, so I'm not advocating people do this. I really am not even sure what I'm doing this experiment for. I just wanted to see if the water could be changed just by putting an apple in it. And I guess I'm finding that out. All right. Now, this is acidic water that was the apple was being stored in. And let's see what happened there. The acidic water, before I do that, I'm just going to show you the final readout on this, is a 5.4 pH with about a positive, well, <clears throat> I moved the probe so that kind of messed it up, but it's, it's really about a positive 30, positive 40 ORP. All right, I'm not going to do that, sit there all day for that. Uh, this one is the started out acidic, so it was about a 2.5 acidity to begin with, or or 2. Point, let's say 8, and then it um, let's see, the ORP was also quite high to begin with, maybe a positive 400. So let's take a look. And it, it did, it's, it seems that the apple is, is bringing up the pH. So the apple itself must be somewhere, maybe a 5 pH or something. Because it brought down the pH of the ionized water and the tap water. But the acidic water started out um, lower acid than that and it brought it up and it also, uh, took away some of the ORP, so it's not quite as oxidizing of water as when it began. All right, well, I thought that was going to be more interesting than it was, but there you go, that's, that's it. Now I'm going to do a taste test. This is the apple with ionized water. Just pull it out of there. Come on. Okay, let's just check it out. Still pretty crisp and hard, not bendable. That's good. Let me just taste it. Hmm. It tastes good. It has a, a milder taste, not quite as sharp as an apple would be brand new, fresh, Lee cut. But it tastes good and like kind of like the apple in an apple pie. All right. Now let's try the one stored in tap water. It definitely looks more oxidized. It's a little softer, more pliable. So it has been not preserved as well. 
Mm. Sorry. I was going to eat that, but I can't eat it. It doesn't taste good. All right. I'm going to imagine that it doesn't taste good because it's picked up the chemicals from the tap water. And um, it just wasn't preserved as well. And I was a brave person testing it, tasting it. All right, so let's, oh dear. I am not going to taste this one. I'm sorry. <laughs> it is bendable, very bendable, very pliable. It's brown. So this is basically your basic rotten apple piece. <laughs> and that's reserved in the acidic water. So there you go. <laughs> Thanks.